Hello. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you all for joining in. I'm Devesh Lati, the program manager at the Next Genius Foundation, and I welcome uh, all the students uh, for joining us. Uh, today with us, we have uh, uh, Ms. Mandy Haynes, uh, who is the director of the international admissions at Muhlenberg College in Pennsylvania. A uh, very warm welcome to Mandy. Uh, and also joining her, uh, we have uh, Shobha Pai, who is the first next senior scholar to Muhlenberg. Uh, she has started her uh, classes at Muhlenberg and she's going through the first semester there right now. Hi uh, and welcome uh, both of you. It's great to have you here today. So before we get going with this call, I have a couple of quick announcements to make. The first one is uh, that uh, and even before I make the announcements, uh, let me first congratulate all of you for uh, reaching this level here uh, uh, for the scholarship interviews uh, to win that full tuition scholarship at Muhlenberg. Uh, congratulations uh, to make it here. Now, for you, the next step is to complete your college application by December 14. So all of you who are here today uh, and all the next seniors candidates who are applying to Muhlenberg, they need to submit all components of your application by December 14. When I say all of components, it includes your common app, uh, your counselor needs to submit your transcripts, mark sheets, your recommendation letters, if you have taken your tests, if you have taken SAT or ACT, then and if you wish to submit those course, you need to submit those. Uh, if you have taken an English proficiency test like Duolingo or um, IELTS or TOEFL, uh, you need to submit those course as well. And of course, the financial paperwork, uh, the, C, uh, the um, uh, certification of finance and the ISFA, the International Students Financial Aid Application. All these uh, documents need to reach Muhlenberg by December 14. Of course, we are here to help you. We are here to guide you. Uh, uh, we have uh, Ms. Mandy Haynes from Muhlenberg. She'll also help us and guide uh, you through the application process. Uh, so, so that's the first thing. And second thing is, of course, uh, this session is being recorded. So uh, we'll, we'll share the recording with all of you. And uh, we'll also post it on our YouTube channel. And finally, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to use the chat box provided to post your questions and we'll take all the questions towards the end of the call. So with that, uh, without any further ado, I invite uh, Mandy and Shobha to take over the presentation. Welcome both of you. Thank you so much, Devesh. And hello, everyone. We're so excited. Uh, I can't believe it's already time to uh, consider another Next Genius Scholar. This is very exciting for us. Um, I'm actually going to share my screen with all of you now so that uh, I can not just tell you about Muhlenberg, but I can show you a little bit about Muhlenberg. Uh, so first, um, as Devesh said, my name is Mandy Haynes, and I'm the Director of International Recruitment. Um, I have been at Muhlenberg College for about three years but I've been in the field of international admissions for about 15 years. Um, I've traveled to India multiple times and have traveled around the world um, during my, my time in this career. Uh, and I'm very happy to be joined today by our very first Next Genius Scholar. So I'm going to ask Shoba to introduce herself quickly and then we'll get started with the uh, presentation. Hello everyone, I'm Shobha Pai. I'm from Bangalore, India, and I've been in Muhlenberg for almost one semester. It's, my semester is not yet over, but it's like I'm in the last leg of my semester. So I'm from Bangalore, India. I was a ISC student in um, Bethany High School before this, and now I'm a Muhlenberg, uh, I'm, a, I'm a student at Muhlenberg, and I'm the first Next Genius Scholar to Muhlenberg. And I love Muhlenberg. It's an amazing college. It is. It really is. 
Thank you, Shoba. Uh, Shoba's gonna come back later in the presentation and talk a little bit about her experience in her first semester. And even though it probably doesn't look the way she had envisioned, I have to say that she's really taking advantage of lots of different opportunities. Um, so we're thrilled uh, that Shoba has joined our Muhlenberg family. Um, and with that, let me just start by saying that um, at Muhlenberg, we really recognize that um, many of our students are coming from far away to join us there to complete their four years of education. And we really do consider ourselves uh, a family. It's a close knit community. It's the kind of place where people get to know you well. They understand where you've come from. They care about you. Um, and this goes for myself as your admissions counselor to the professors you'll meet at Muhlenberg, to your, your classmates and, and friends and dorm mates. Um, we really have a very strong sense of community at our school. And it's something that we value above all else. Um, it's the kind of campus where kindness matters, where civility matters, where we're all there to support each other and, and to, to help make sure that our students um, are productive and successful in their, in their four-year experience. So I want to just kind of set, set the stage for you all by introducing Muhlenberg as a place where community matters um, and and where even though you're, you're traveling far across the globe to study, you know that you're going to be among people who consider you part of their family as well. Um, so let me start um, by giving you a sense of uh, some of the nuts and bolts about Muhlenberg. So first, let's just talk about where we're located. Um, as Devesh mentioned, we are in the state of Pennsylvania, which is in the northeast region of the U.S., and we're in Allentown. Allentown is the third largest city in Pennsylvania. And it's located in the Lehigh Valley region. Why that's important is because the Lehigh Valley has recently been voted one of the fastest growing economic regions in the country. Um, there's a lot happening here. There are a lot of corporations and businesses moving in. And that has to do with our close proximity to New York City. We're about 90 minutes away from New York. We are one hour away from Philadelphia and just a few hours away from Washington, DC. Um, so this is a great place for businesses to come in and um, really have a good impact on, on this region. So you should also know that uh, it's easy to get to Allentown. Um, we are accessible through multiple international airports. Um, there's public transportation that comes from both Philly and New York City into this area. Um, so it's very easy for our international students to fly in and out of Allentown. Um, and, uh, and also it's great to be um, in a region where you've got easy access to major US cities. Um, so let's talk about a few of the quick facts about Muhlenberg. Um, as I mentioned, we're a small college. So we have about 1,900 students. We're a diverse community with students coming from over 20 countries and 35 states. Uh, a 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio, I think, really illustrates the fact that Students are working closely with their professors, and when you're in those small group settings, it is easy for people to really get to know each other and for faculty to offer um, a level of support that um, is, is both, uh, you know, academic, but also personal. Um, Students at Muhlenberg go on to do great things after they graduate from the college. Over 90% of our students are either employed or in graduate school within one year of completing their Muhlenberg degree. Uh, and we're a residential campus where almost all of our students live 
at the Muhlenberg campus for all four years. Um, and they have a very vibrant, um, full experience that goes well beyond um, classroom learning. And one of the fun facts here is that Muhlenberg is voted number 17 in the nation for best campus food. And we're actually number one in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, so you're going to eat very well at Muhlenberg. Um, and even though that might seem like a small thing, uh, you need to keep your brain well nourished while you're studying so hard. Um, so let's talk about the academic experience. Um, students at Muhlenberg are active learners. So you might look at this slide and say, I don't really see a typical classroom setting. That's because learning doesn't just happen in a classroom at Muhlenberg. Um, it happens in a lot of different spaces and professors are actively learning alongside their students. Um, so we put a big emphasis on experiential learning or learning by doing at Muhlenberg. You're not going to just be studying a textbook, memorizing your notes um, and taking exams. You are going to be active in your learning so that it means more to you. Um, when you get to actively work on projects, you get to conduct research, you get to be involved in different experiential hands-on exercises, your learning is going to be more valuable and it's going to be more rewarding for you. Um, there are a number of different uh, academic pursuits that our students can take on at Muhlenberg. We have a total of 38 majors and 35 minors. Um, I'll talk about some of our, our top majors. Um, Muhlenberg has a nationally and internationally ranked theater and dance program. So if you're interested in the performing arts, we are an amazing option for you. Um, students can um, audition or submit an arts portfolio and be considered for talent grants at Muhlenberg. Um, you can participate in the arts, even if you're not majoring in them. Uh, and we host over 50 stage productions every year. So it's a very vibrant arts community. It's, we also have strong programs in the humanities. So whether you are studying psychology like Shoba or um, international studies or business or accounting or finance, um, you're gonna have a really strong education and, and formal uh, background in these areas. And actually, Muhlenberg is unique in offering majors in accounting and business and finance. These aren't the kinds of programs that you will typically find in a liberal arts college, um, but they are very strong at Muhlenberg. And most students in those, pro in those um, programs are employed before they graduate. We actually have very strong science programs at Muhlenberg as well. Um, so whether you are studying biology or neuroscience or environmental science or one of our other science programs, you will um, be in the, in the lab conducting your own research. You will be working alongside your professors and really developing yourself um, as a young scientist. Uh, and having these opportunities to conduct your own research, to publish your own findings, means that you are creating a strong resume, even as a college student. Um, and, and I think what defines Muhlenberg's academics, regardless of your major, is that you're going to have a lot of flexibility within the curriculum so that you'll be taking classes outside of your major. You will have opportunities to double major or add a minor and really enhance your academics and still complete your degree within four years. Um, so that flexibility is something that our students really enjoy. And we have over 30% of our students doing double majors in every possible combination you can imagine. Um, so we have students who are doing theater and business or dance and biology. Um, there are so many different unique combinations that our students take on um, and really uh, get a well-rounded education. Uh, but students also have a very vibrant social life on our campus. Um, so Muhlenberg, as I said, is a residential college. This is really a full living and learning experience. 
we have over 130 different student-led clubs and organizations. We have 22 varsity athletic teams um, that are very competitive within our conference. Um, and students are get really excited to go to football games, soccer games, basketball. Our teams are very competitive. Um, there are a number of different um, performing groups. Uh, so if you want to be involved in a cappella or maybe um, a dance ensemble or any sort of different um, performing groups, you're going to have great opportunities at Muhlenberg. We have our own on-campus radio station and a lot of our international students host radio shows um, and share some of the music from their home countries, which is really fun for all of us to experience. We have a robust study abroad program with over 160 different study abroad locations around the world for students to consider. Um, we have a community service office that is dedicated to helping students um, be involved, not just in Allentown, but in our whole region of the Lehigh Valley. Uh, and community service is very important to us at Muhlenberg because we want our students to give back to their local community. And um, I think being an engaged citizen in college will help you continue on with that throughout your life. Um, and it's something that we really value at Muhlenberg. So over 90% of our students are involved in community engagement in different ways. Um, so that, that's really uh, important to us and, and something that we know that our students grow from and value as well. Uh, so if I had to describe Muhlenberg in one way, I would say that the community is, is very active. So whether it's Wednesday night or Saturday night, our students are actively engaged in, in a variety of activities. Uh, and we also host a lot of um, academic lectures and presentations on our campus. Um, we have employers who come and speak to our students about different careers and, and industries. So there are so many different things that you can choose from to get involved in at Muhlenberg. Um, and you often find that Muhlenberg students are not involved in just one activity, but they've got multiple commitments going all the time and they seem to thrive with that. So um, we, we appreciate that. And it's another reason that they need to eat well because they're so busy. Um, so having that really well-established academic foundation in college and having um, the opportunity to double major and to really uh, take advantage of a liberal arts education in that you're going to become a really solid writer. And you're going to write a lot at Muhlenberg, whether you are an English major or a math major you're also going to develop your critical and creative thinking skills. You are going to learn how to um, conduct yourself in a debate or discussion. Um, you're going to be adaptable. You're gonna be someone who has explored different disciplines. And all of these qualities are going to help you be successful after you graduate from Muhlenberg. So as I mentioned before, over 90% of our students are employed or in graduate school within one year of completing their graduation. Students start working with our career center early on, even in their first year at Muhlenberg, um, to really kind of help guide your, your academic path and make sure that you've got opportunities for internship programs to connect with Muhlenberg alums um, who are working in, in fields that you're interested in. They serve as, as mentors um, and advisors to our current students. Um, to have access to different professionals through career road trips, through those presentations and speakers that I mentioned. Um, there are a lot of different ways that our students uh, starting in their first year at Muhlenberg are already thinking about how this all comes together into a career or an advanced education. So making those connections early on um, are gonna really benefit you when you're ready to think about um, your post Muhlenberg life. 
Uh, and now I'm going to invite Shoba to join us to talk to you about what her Muhlenberg experience has been like in these last several months. So when the when my whole process started, I was really excited that it was in like February or something like that, when I was not aware that uh, the pandemic would take such a horrible turn, but it did. So I was not really happy that I had to do my first semester online because, you know, I wouldn't get the whole college experience, but it, it isn't true. Like there's so much we do just online and for letting, like there are so many aspects. I'm just going to give you some examples. If you think about classes now when we think about online classes it's just sitting in a sitting in a room alone looking at your computer and just you know typing something but it's not that in one of my classes my professor and the whole class came up with a questionnaire when we where we asked people about what the, what the class was about and sent it out and and in class we analyzed all those responses and that's like that's so incredible to me because that that one on that like connection that the whole class shares is it's so nice and it's like it's it's really something that we don't think of when we think about online classes but Muhlenberg is such a good community like has such a good community that it delivers in everything and the experiential learning stuff that Miss Haynes talked about uh, Miss Haynes talked about it's true because I am taking a class next semester which the service part is a part like you have to do it for your grade so that's completely cool to me because it's not just sitting in a, like just typing up assignments giving quizzes it's not that it's really doing the work and getting the whole experience of learning and then the co the college life is there are so many clubs on some, on the campus and it's like the online experience did not like stop it we still have club meetings we still have we still have things that we do, we have movie nights, we have game nights, all those, all the types of stuff. And I like, you can get involved in so many clubs on campus. Like it doesn't even matter. I know one person who ha who is part of 11 clubs and that's a huge deal because with his schoolwork, he's part of 11 clubs and he loves doing it. He loves taking part in everything. And that's, that Muhlenberg gives you that opportunity. And about like the social events, like you think that being an online school like isolates you, it, like Muhlenberg really likes to involve you. Every week they send out a email what about what events are going on. Like sometimes there are lectures, movie nights and every week our student activities committee, they host a game night, a trivia night. And it's the little things that matter that they, they want to get to know, they genuinely do. All the professors before, like they, love talking to you you go to their officers they love just having a conversation with you not even about what your class is about just about how you're doing and that's the the, the small things matter and and another thing i want to note that the international student Commu committee in um Muhlenberg is they're awesome they're so cool and all of them are really 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 friendly it's like a family within a family Muhlenberg is really a big like it's it's a family like because there are less people in the college it's really you build real connections rather than like 100 people in one class where you know two people and don't know the professor because he's too busy dealing with 100 people so i love that it's a small like it really helps me and there is the student life is amazing we we celebrated diwali recently we had an online celebration which was really fun we watched we watched uh, some videos we we danced we ate food it was amazing the the indian student life on campus is, is really great like i have friends who are who are like part of this uh, uh, group called top notch it's in bollywood dance group and there's so much so much fun the international student association is amazing and really like all like everyone even the career counselors the the staff who help with the housing situation, all of them really want to get to know you. So you, Muhlenberg is a place where community is big. Even their, uh, even their motto, the uh, we open doors for you is literal because they have red doors on campus, which I haven't been to campus, but I've seen because my friends, my friends take me through campus on their phones. 
and we open doors for you you literally like it's a gesture of goodwill it's a gesture of i'm here for you and i listen to you so i love like this college has given me so much in a, such a short period of time Shoba, thank you so much. Uh, and thanks for mentioning the red doors. I, I completely skipped over that, but you're absolutely right. Um, and the red doors come from our, our founding back in the 1800s. Muhlenberg was founded by the Lutheran Church. Um, and in the Lutheran faith, um, the, the red doors are a sign of welcome, that all are welcome. And so every exterior door at Muhlenberg is painted red. And um, we really do embody that, that spirit of welcome every day. Um, it really is the kind of place where people hold the door open for you, where people, as I, I said earlier, are kind. Um, they look you in the eye. They, they want to know you. Um, and then we also open doors in a bigger sense in terms of giving you the kind of education that is going to let you go places in your life. Um, so that that is a very important piece of who we are. And the other thing that I want to mention um, as you're talking about your own online learning experience this semester, uh, I was talking with one of our professors um, last spring when we went to online courses and he said to me uh you know at muhlenberg we're not doing distance learning we're still doing personalized learning at a distance and i think that's so true and it really speaks to um, who we are at Muhlenberg and, and how our professors have handled um, this situation um, and really staying connected to their students um, so very briefly, because I wanna make sure we save plenty of time for questions, I wanna just talk about the application requirements. And I know that you've all been um, very well briefed on this from, from my colleagues at, at Next Genius. Um, but just to go over it quickly, Muhlenberg is a common application school. So you must complete and submit the common application. We do not require a supplemental essay for our common app. We want to see your secondary school transcripts starting with grade nine. And this is important that we do wanna see grades nine and then throughout your secondary school. Um, if you have predicted grades or um, exam grades that support your transcript, please submit all of your official um, grades to us so that we can fully evaluate uh, your, your academic experience. We also uh, require letters of recommendation. One, at least one. One from a college counselor. And if you attend a high school or a secondary school that does not have a counselor, please feel free to submit um, a recommendation from a headmaster or a principal, or even a second teacher recommendation is acceptable as well. Uh, as Mr. Devesh mentioned, we are a test optional school. So if you have taken standardized tests, please feel free to submit those. If you have not, um, we don't require those test scores. And then um, we will have an opportunity to interact with each of you uh, through an interview later on in the process. And we're looking forward to, um, to getting to know you a little bit more on a personal level. And so when we evaluate our applicants at Muhlenberg, we're really taking all of these uh, pieces of information into consideration. Of course, we wanna make sure that students are well prepared academically for rigorous coursework at Muhlenberg, but we are also interested in knowing how you've committed your time outside of the classroom. Have you um, um, given back to your community? Have you been active in um, clubs through your school? Um, what are your uh, hobbies and talents and interests that you've been involved in? Um, so all of this matters to us because we want to get a full sense of who you are as a person. And then, um, of course, we uh, 
We'll also want to see, uh, again, as Mr. Devesh mentioned, um, your certification of finance form. The, the um, photo page of your passport, um, if you could submit a copy for that as well. And then the international student financial aid application. Um, so the students who are applying through the Next Genius program are being considered for the Muhlenberg College Next Genius Scholarship, um, which is a full tuition scholarship, will be awarded to one Next Genius Scholar. Uh, but then, at least in, in, in uh, the past year, we were able to offer partial scholarships to many of our applicants as well. So please know that even if you are not selected for the full tuition scholarship, there are still great opportunities for you to be considered um, for, for funding. And then this is some of our contact information. The deadlines don't necessarily pertain to all of you because I know that you are working hard to complete your application files before uh, that December deadline that was mentioned. Um, so we have given you a very brief overview of Muhlenberg College. Um, I know that we left a lot of information uh, that we couldn't cover now, but we're happy to take some of your questions and um, give you a better sense of the programs that you're interested in. Super. Thank you so much, Mandy and Shobha, for sharing all the information with us. Uh, I can see that there are some questions which are coming in, and I'll just start reading those out for you. Okay. Um, so uh, one student wants to know, can they do CS plus theater, computer science plus theater? Yes, absolutely. Yes, you, you truly can do any combination of double majors at Muhlenberg. Um, and a lot of that is because the curriculum is flexible, so we don't have a lot of requirements. Um, and within your major, generally one third of your courses are focused on your major. So that's why students can easily double major and add in um, other classes that they're interested in. Okay. Uh, how can a student enroll in the honors program at Muhlenberg? Oh, that's a great question. Um, so there are specific academic requirements for the honors programs and students are invited to participate in the honors programs um, after their applications are actually reviewed by faculty committees um, and students are invited to join. Okay, great. Uh, do, do you see students working on campus uh, or, or what kind of jobs are available on campus for international students? Uh, yes, definitely. I do see students working on campus and there are a lot of different um, departments and areas of campus that international students tend to work in. Uh, the library, um, our student union has um, a lot of different job opportunities. There's um, you know, the dining hall hires students. We have a coffee shop on campus. Um, there's like the front information desk at the student union. Um, the admissions office hires students as um, tour guides and student ambassadors. Um, the computing center hires students to, to work at the help desk. Uh, the, um, the buildings and grounds will hire students. And also some of our students um, will work as RAs, which is a residential assistant in the, in the dorms. Um, so there are a lot of different opportunities for, for jobs on campus. Okay, wonderful. Uh, one of our students is interested in basketball. So uh, is there anything that they need to do beforehand, maybe reach out to someone uh, to uh, join the basketball team? Yes, um, I would say it's always a good idea to connect with the coach um, early on, just so you can get a, a good sense of whether they um, have like um, walk-on um, uh, opportunities for a certain team. So uh, you can certainly go on our website to the athletic program and reach out to the basketball coach. If you have trouble finding that information, then you can email me directly. I'd be happy to help. Okay, wonderful. 
Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more on the dual degree engineering program? Oh, yes. Um, so Muhlenberg has a number of academic partnerships with large universities for students. These are primarily for students who know early on in their Muhlenberg experience that they want to go on for an advanced degree. Um, most of those programs are for master's level degrees, but the dual degree program is through Columbia University. It's in engineering, and this program is where students will spend three years at Muhlenberg and then transfer on to Columbia for a two year um, engineering program. And it's actually um, a dual uh, undergraduate degree program. Okay. Um, what kind of supports to uh, support do the students get uh, upon graduation uh, when they are uh, looking for jobs and internships? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so students are encouraged to work with our career center um, early on in their Muhlenberg experience. So some students start in their first year meeting with the Career Center um, and getting advice, not just on, on a job after graduation, but on building a professional portfolio for yourself um, and, and, and starting to think about what kinds of careers and industries you're interested in, getting to network with professionals. Um, so we start students early on thinking about post-graduation um, and, and making sure that our students have great opportunities for internship programs, for shadowing professionals, for networking, for building a resume, um, for developing strong uh, interview skills. So the, the Career Center really encompasses a lot of that. Okay, that's great. Uh, what, what kind of research opportunities uh, do the students get um, at Muhlenberg. Yeah, uh, and I know I touched a little bit upon research with uh, students in the um, focusing on sciences, but there are actually research opportunities for students in every major. So it's not just scientific research. Um, we have students who are conducting research in the humanities, um, in you know, in some of our business programs, uh, and. We think that that is vital to your education because it's part of that experiential learning where you are conducting your own research. You are writing a strong research paper to, um, to outline your, your research. Um, many times our students are publishing those research papers and presenting alongside their professors. Um, so regardless of what you're studying at Muhlenberg, chances are you're gonna have some great opportunities to conduct research to, to complement that. Okay, um, can you elaborate a little bit more on the food and boarding uh, room and board options? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, um, obviously the food is great, um, but what I would say uh, just to, to give a little more detail is that, um, you know, I talked about Muhlenberg as a family and a community. Certainly the staff in our dining hall, they're a big part of that Muhlenberg family. Um, they are so great with our students and something that I love uh, that they do is um, if a student has like a favorite recipe that maybe, you know, you made at home and you're really missing it, if you bring that recipe into the, to the chefs, they will make it and serve it in our dining hall. Um, so that is a really nice touch of home. Uh, but we also have a dining service that caters to a lot of different dietary needs. So if you're vegetarian, gluten-free, um, if you have a kosher diet, um, there are wonderful options for you in the dining hall. Um, and they do a lot of different, um, like, you know, themed dinners and they'll do like international 
international um, meals at, at different times. So it's really a place that tries to make students feel at home, make sure that, that they're getting um, well nourished and, and have good things to look forward to. And then in terms of the dorms, uh, uh, on campus uh, dorms are guaranteed for all four years um, and there are a lot of different dorm options so typically a, a typical first year dorm is you have a one roommate um, but beyond that uh, there are single rooms there are um, quads where there are four roommates living together. There are apartment style dorms. Um, so there are a lot of different options for students for on campus living. Okay. Uh, Ms. Haynes, can I add on to that? Yes. Mm -hmm. So a great thing that Muhlenberg has implemented is called the International Roommate Program. Yes. Which is a big <laughs> thing that I'm excited about. So what, what the in, International Student Support Office does is it pairs up students with like stu uh, international students with like students who are already from America and from there and helps you, you know, get someone who can help you, you know, navigate your life at least for the first semester when you are there. And when I like, I'm planning to go on campus next semester and I've already, my roommate is already thought of. So my roommate is, her name is Hannah and she texts me, she's like, do you want to be roommates since we know each other? from this program. I'm like, yes, please. I would love that. So, yeah, I was, I'm really excited about that. Just to share. That's awesome. That, that, that's great. Uh, Shobha, uh, this question is for you. What are you planning to major in and uh, how, how are you planning to decide or, you know, uh, yeah. So I want to major in psychology with, I am thinking of majoring in media and communications too, like a double major. And the great thing about Muhlenberg is you don't have to decide like right, right away. You can take classes, you can really, you can uh, email professors, you can just talk to them about your options and everything. And you don't need to, like you need, you need to uh, declare a major by the second year, but you can change it. You can always change it uh just need to have the credits for the course so i'm not worried about that because my my advisor is so an understanding he told me to take all the classes i wanted to and he really helped me build my you know he actually sat with me uh we had a call he sat with me and he helped me build my four-year plan what i what it may look like what classes i should take what classes uh sound interesting and all that so i'm not worried about choosing my major because I have time and I feel like many people right now think we need to choose it right now but you don't have to like you have time you could figure it out you can take classes and really have fun with what you're studying I feel yeah that's wonderful um uh, uh, one final question uh Mandy uh, is it possible for students to graduate uh, in three years or three and a half years and uh, while doing so uh, of course, uh, do they save their, their tuition fees for uh, six months or uh, the living expenses also? Hmm. It, it is possible. I would say that uh, it depends on a lot of circumstances, though. It, it really depends on what your major is. Um, and if you are able to actually get all of the courses in that you need. Um, and what happens is, especially when you get into some of the advanced level classes for your major, um, and you might have a, a capstone project uh, to complete your major, sometimes those are only available in the spring semester. Um, so it depends on your major, it depends on when you declare your major. Um, and as Shoba said, you've got an academic advisor who can help you kind of plan out your four years. Um, so it certainly is possible. And we do have students who graduate early, but it just depends. Um, and certainly if you graduate in under four years, then yes, you're saving um, some of the cost. Superb, wonderful. That's very helpful. So uh, we are almost coming towards the end of the call. And before we do so, I would like both of you to share any final word of advice uh, that you have for the students. Shoba, do you want to go first? 
my advice is like just be yourself we want to know you we want to get to know you and not some you know a uh, version of you we want to get to know who you are and we want to get to know if you if you know mulenburg is a great place and i don't know why people don't want to like it's so it's like there are so many things even the small things that matter that mulenburg does and i love so it really matters and just you know do your research i always like everyone i talk to i tell them do your research like get to know the college before you get like uh, get get into it so do your research be yourself and just just like have fun like we like we are in a pandemic things are rough we need to have fun so just have fun be yourself do your research that's all i have to do say great <laughs> That, that's great advice. Um, mine is probably similar, but uh, the, the benefit of attending a liberal arts college is that you don't have to have just one area of focus. You don't have to be involved in just one activity. Um, a liberal arts education is meant to be broad. You're meant to have both the breadth and depth of study. And so don't be afraid to take advantage of that um, and really explore. And also um, use the resources that are available to you. Um, there are so many different academic resources. Um, we have students coming from all over the world at Muhlenberg and coming from different educational backgrounds. And so sometimes coming into um, the college initially, it feels very different. And it can feel um, uncomfortable even to have um, such an informal relationship with your professors. Um, so just let yourself um, feel comfortable with the community, use the resources that are available to you, and, and know that um, what you make of this four years is really up to you. Um, there are a lot of different ways for you to have a full experience, but it's up to you to decide what that's going to look like. Wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Mandy and Shobha, for sharing all the information with us and for answering all the questions. Um, and uh, thank you all the students for joining us this evening and for taking time out uh, to attend this webinar. So yeah, uh, once again, thank you everyone for joining and uh, yeah, looking forward to the next steps, which is completing the applications and of course, participating in the interviews. So uh, have a great day, everyone. Ha good evening, good night. Take care, everyone. So Be much. well. Thank you so much. Bye.